Six now pointed remarks today from President Barack Obama as he all but named Vladimir Putin as the force behind the cyber attacks on Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely reports on the president's year-end news conference. Policy. President Obama says he's certain Russia hacked the emails of Hillary Clinton's campaign chief, John Podesta, and the Democratic National Committee. What I can tell you is that the intelligence that I've seen gives me great confidence in their assessment that the Russians carried out this hack. Not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. That's as close as he'd go to directly naming Putin, but close enough. And he's troubled that many supporters of Donald Trump don't believe U.S. intelligence that Russia was involved. Over a third of Republican voters approve of Vladimir Putin, the former head of the KGB. Ronald Reagan would roll over in his grave. The president admitted he was unsuccessful in finding a solution to bring peace to Syria. Despite the carnage, he still believes relying on U.S. airstrikes and arming moderates on the ground was the best option for America. Unless we were all in and willing to take over Syria, we were going to have problems. And that everything else was tempting because we wanted to do something and it sounded like the right thing to do, but it was going to be impossible to do this on the cheap. In a face-to-face -face meeting, the president says he brought up the cyber attacks and warned Putin to cut it out, in his words, during an international summit last fall. There's no evidence Russia tampered with the counting of votes in the November election. Still, Obama says the U.S. does plan to retaliate for the Russian hacking, but will do it quietly. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob? Okay, Derek, thank you.